An introduction to how editing works under the 2022 SAG-AFTRA commercials contract. Hey, have you heard about the 2022 SAG-AFTRA commercials contract and how the editing structure has changed? The contract was modernized in partnership between SAG-AFTRA and the Joint Policy Committee to help keep pace with trends in the media and advertising industries and to make union commercial production easier. The 2022 commercials contract introduces a simpler and more flexible editing structure for all commercials produced under this contract. This will help to incentivize more advertisers to use this contract. You may be asking, why do I need to know this? As a sag after performer, you'll want to know how to get paid for changes to a commercial. And as an advertiser or agency, you may want to know the new parameters around editing so you can better estimate talent costs, execute creative, and modify a commercial. Let's now talk about the new editing structure. First, there are four types of editing changes that do not create a new commercial. This applies to all commercials produced under the new 2022 contract, including those produced under the social media YouTube waiver. One, shorter or longer versions. Two, permitted changes. Three, paid edits. And four, addressable edits. Let's break it down more, starting with shorter or longer versions. Within this editing change, there are three elements to note. One, the length of the versions. Two, the material you can include in the versions. And three, the payment structure for performers that appear in the different versions. Let's start with the length of versions and the material you can include in them. The 2022 contract now offers the ability to make an unlimited number of shorter or longer versions. Unlike the old contract, these shorter or longer versions may include footage from the same production and the same script and storyboard. In addition, there's no restriction on how many of each length you can create. For example, you can now take a 30-second commercial and create a 10-second version, or a 45-second version, or a 60-second version, or any length you choose, as long as the footage used is from the same production and the same script and storyboard. Okay, now let's talk about the third element, the performer's payments. Payment for principal performers is based on the number of versions they appear in. And for each principal performer, the first and second versions are included at no additional cost. The third shorter or longer version triggers a payment of a session fee. And every additional version thereafter triggers a payment of 30% of a session fee. Remember, fees follow the performer and not the commercial. This means the fees are based on the number of times a performer appears in a shorter or longer version, and not the total number of shorter or longer versions of the commercial. Okay, let's jump into the second type of change you can make that does not constitute a new commercial. Permitted changes. While the requirement to pay principal performers separate tag rates for each change made to the commercial remains a part of the new provisions, it's important to know that everything you were able to do previously at no additional cost with editing, you can still do today. Another important update in the 2022 commercials contract is more edits are now classified as permitted changes. These permitted changes, which do not create new edit fees, include 1. Legal or network requirement changes 2. Dealer and tag changes 3. Rearrangement of on-camera material 4. Changes to the off-camera message 5. Foreign language voiceovers 6. Special offers and promotions 7. Supers 8. Change of the voiceover or music and 9. Changes to the product in the nature of a tag as long as they're from the same product line or variant of the product. All right, let's jump to the next type of change that does not constitute a new commercial, paid edits. There are two scenarios which result in principals receiving paid edit fees. First, if a product is changed to another product in the same product line or to a different variant of the same product, such as a different color, model, size, scent, and flavor, beyond the nature of a tag. Second, if the edit changes the setting or adds an additional setting during the same production via CGI or green screen. Now let's look at an example of how paid edits work for performers. Again, imagine we're using the same 30-second commercial example, but this time we have that product change. If all of the performers appear in the first edit, a session fee is triggered for all. 
But if now a setting change occurs in the second edit and only on-camera one and VO performers appear, those two are paid 75% of the session fee. But now the same commercial is adjusted in post-production to change the season from spring to fall, and all three on-camera performers are shown in different wardrobe. Session fees were paid to performers to shoot the change at the time of production. Fees are based on the number of times a performer is present in a paid edit, and not by the number of paid edits alone. This means that the on-camera one and VO performers receive 50% of a session fee, while the on-camera two and on-camera three receive 75% of the session fee because this is only their second appearance in a paid edit. And as you can see in the chart, any additional paid edits after the third triggers a payment of 30% of the session fee. Okay, now for the last editing type, addressable edits. Commercials can be edited to create addressable campaigns with the payment of an addressable edit fee. Before we get too far, you may be asking, What's an addressable commercial? Addressable commercials are specifically produced to be shown in multiple variations and are dynamically inserted at the level of individual households. They also use footage and or soundtracks from the original production, as long as the edit doesn't change the commercial concept or message. As for addressable edits, they result from things like a change in setting, such as a beach to rolling hills, where such changes are not limited to CGI or green screen or a different product in the same product line, such as a single serving of coffee to a carafe, beyond the nature of a tag, as well as a different variant of the same product, such as a different color, size, scent, or flavor, beyond the nature of a tag. And also, elements other than the product may be edited to show a different element, such as a surfboard in a car commercial replaced with a snowboard, or changing the gender of a driver in a car commercial. Let's now return back to the addressable edit fees I mentioned earlier. Here's how it works. On and off-camera principals, as well as extras appearing in addressable edits, will be paid the following fees. On-camera principals receive a one-time fee equal to 200% of the on-camera session rate. Off-camera principals receive a one-time 200% of the off-camera session rate and an additional 50% of the off-camera session rate for each edit they are required to render services for. And lastly, extras receive a one-time fee equal to 50% of the unlimited use extra session rate. And that's it! We covered the four types of edits that do not constitute a new commercial. 1. Shorter or longer versions. 2. Permitted changes. 3. Paid edits. And 4 addressable edits. We hope this has been helpful and that you have a better understanding of all the new editing options available under the 2022 commercials contract. Reach out if you have questions about these terms or anything related to the new 2022 commercials contract.